Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys. Um, this is the first of the, of the transporter season we're going to do. I'm going to start with the third one. That's when I watch this now. Good on Netflix. Um, I reviewed the other ones in due course, like I did with Bad Boys and Species. Well, the Species a lot pretty much on the same week, and Bad Boys pretty much did it within a month. So I'm going to do transporter. Let me watch the second one. Maybe review today or late in the week, and the first one eventually. And even the the reboot eventually as well. But that was the third one, which is not a bad ending to the Jason Statham trilogy. Because it's the last one that Jason Statham did. There was a, a reboot without Jason Statham and the show. That I think it was after the, this one without Jason Statham as well. But this is the last one of Jason Statham trilogy. And um, Transport 3, so we all know the different most Frank Martin, the world's best delivery driver or courier, if, if you want to be more specific. This time he um, gets caught in. Um, he has to. He's been forced to um, transport um, a daughter of Ukraine diplomat. Um, and mayhem as it proceeds as well. Nothing, nothing's always nothing. All goes. The mission never goes things from the plan of the Frank Martin. So he gets mixed up with some terrorists trying to. Basically, just a uh, Ukrainian diplomat to sign some papers. There's always some type of bit, um, ship, shipping deal. And may have received and, and the rest of the history. It's an entertaining end to the trilogy. I think the first one's the best, but the thing is, it's about the second one. I'm not sure. I think I like the two and three are the same. No, no, it's not really a worse one, our trilogy. This is definitely better. I prefer the trilogy older than the, I think the, the Weakest film is the one afterwards, Refeud. The reboot is the weakest, but until the Jason Stave ones, the first one's the best and the best. Second and third one, like, like equally. I, I don't know if I like this one more than the second one, or this one more, or the second one more than the third one. When I watch the second one, I, I can give about standing to like this one more, or the third, this, one, this one more, second one more. But definitely entertaining, some good action scenes, especially the trace at the end. And this here was a guy can do some. If I'm out, it's a guy can do many, many things with that. Oh, my dog's barking. The, the things you could do with that Audi it is, it's unbelievable. I'm sure you should going to do it in real life, but it's, it's a film. In the movie world, anything goes. But oh, good action scenes, um, love interests. Um, Joe Statham does fuck up the living just in this film, spoilers alert. And she's, she's a, a funny accomplice. Uh, very annoying at times, but funny as well. Yeah, you know, love and trust in this film. Yeah, good, good action scene, you know, some really good action scenes. And, and um, a good ending to the trilogy. If you haven't seen it, Watch it, give it a go. A nice Netflix and chill. Not like all needed. Out of 10, 7 out of 10, 6 and a half, 7, 3 and a half out of 5. Not classic like the first one is, but good end to the trilogy, still end to the trilogy, in my opinion. And um, I wouldn't mind trying to spot a film with Jesus Stephen back, I wouldn't mind it. I know there's been four films already. UJ Stephen on the route and uh, a show as well. But I wouldn't mind not a fourth one with UJ Stephen returning. See how it goes. If UJ Stephen still can do his, his um, martial arts, still he's fighting on fight to conquer three, then make a fourth one. I wouldn't mind it. Like I said, the third one you know, is a good end to the trilogy. Some good action scenes, a good banter between. You know, Jay Stephen character and then he's a um, Ukrainian female um accomplice. And um the villain, the guy in prison break, what's his name? He's, uh, he's uh, not as good a villain. 
Robert Nepper, yep. And I also suspect to Tacconi, isn't it? Played by Francis Berlend. He's back. Back in the zone, he's back as this as if respect to Bacconi, Tacconi. Yeah, it's a, it's a good end to the trilogy, like I said. Give it a watch. Not a bad end to the trilogy. That's what the this two trilogy I actually genuinely like, like all three of them. The three three is okay. Not not oh, mm, forgettable. I don't hate hate it. Just this is forgettable. The beef food, forgettable. But just take control of your line. Generally, control for you. I think it's a better one though. The first one's a classic. Second one's not a decent sequel, and the third one's a decent ending. Trilogy. All right. Like I said, give it a watch, and if you're a transport fan, give it a watch. If you're a Disney fan, give it a watch. If you're actually a movie fan, give it a watch, and have fun, guys. Comment, subscribe, guys. Have a good weekend. Bye now. Stay here. I'll be back.